Deborah, when we spoke on the phone um, during the week, you were explaining to me that, um, that your boss had asked you to come in today and have yeah. a, a chat about mm. some of the stuff that's been going on at work recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, she is just such an idiot. Um, I'm really annoyed about this whole situation. Right. This is just a waste of my time as far as I'm concerned. Right. You certainly sound annoyed even right at the mm -hmm. start here of our yep. session. What's the reason that she's asked you to come in? Oh, God. She had a whole bunch of these like little trainee nurse people running to her and complaining about how I manage them. And it's, it's outrageous. You know, they come in, they're hardly trained. I don't know what they do at universities anymore with these people. But you know, this one, this, a shockingly bad attempt, which she called giving an injection. It was just ridiculous. And then, you know, like the minute you sort of like say to them, this is a problem, be professional, pull your act together. Off they trot with their little tails between their legs, going, you know, whinging about my behaviour. And right. now I'm sitting here with you. Right. I mean, no offence. I'm sure you're great at what you do, but like, I could be out there doing my job. Right. So it, I mean, the impression I'm getting from you is that you don't. It's not something that you really see the need to do to come in here, but it's something that you've been kind of God, all forced this into talking doing. Talking about your feeling stuff. I mean, no, it's not my scene. Right. So um, what was, I mean, I take your point that you, know, that you seem to see that some of these other nurses that are working with you haven't done their job well, and, and the way you describe it there, it sounds as though you're just doing your best attempt to kind of improve their skills, yeah. improve their training. Yeah. But if I was to ask your boss, what, I mean, what was the issue that she took with the way that you were handling this? She said that I was being too aggressive and that I was, can you believe it, like messing with their self-esteem as though it's my job to look after their little self-esteem problems right. you know either they do the job or they don't okay and so i was just being very clear saying that was just a ridiculous thing you did this is how you should do it get it right you know it was just being clear okay and that's what she meant when she was saying aggressive i presume so mm. i mean it's just like you know when i did my training and went through all of this stuff you just did as you were told and you got things right. You didn't run around worrying about how you felt about it. Right. And so it sounds from the, just the way that you're talking that you don't see the way that you manage this as being aggressive. You wouldn't use the same sort of word. No, no. Mm. It's just getting to the point. Okay. No nonsense. Right. I suppose being fairly firm with them from what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They certainly know where they stand with me, absolutely. Right. I'm curious th that, that your boss seems to have singled you out for this sort of thing and it's not something that they seem to have needed to address with other staff in the workplace though. And what's your explanation for that? Why is it that you've been the one that's been asked to come and see me rather than anyone else in the oh. workplace? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just I've just been unlucky with the trainees I've had. Um, is one it's the most obvious reason I can think about, you know. And they've now got all this anxiety since there's been problems in the, the, the health force about, you know, any kind of inappropriate behaviour. So I think that they've just become trying to pander to the community and the community's needs and, you know, nurses are precious and we can't train enough of them. And I just think they've all just got totally over the top with all these worries about things. Right. It does sound as though there's some difference of opinion between yourself and your boss. And I it, hope so. And it also sounds as though it's probably say, fair to say, though, that you are coming into conflict with some of these people in the workplace. Well, what if they just knew their place and just mm. understood that it's my role to tell them what to do and they do it? Mm. I mean, if they got that, there wouldn't be a problem. Right. And, and maybe that's the case, but I suppose it, it seems at the moment that they're not getting that. And no, they're not. No. You're right. Hmm. I mean, in fact, they should be sitting here, not me. Mm. Okay. Now, because you are the one sitting here, I suppose, one of the things that we need to consider is you know, it's difficult for us to control their behaviour, but you know, there, there is a bit of an opportunity here, I suppose, for us to consider whether there might be some changes that you might be willing to make in your behaviour. Are you saying that, that you think I've got a problem in my behaviour? From what I've told you, do you really think I'm the one with the problem? Well... I suppose it's difficult for me, not having been in the workplace, to, to make a, an informed judgement about that. <sighs> this is typical of you people. Like, it's just fence-sitting, isn't it? Right. Well, I mean, I, I think that one of the things that I have to be very careful of is to not make a judgement about something where I wasn't there. And, but I suppose to help you maybe come up with some ideas as to whether you might be able to make some changes yourself. I don't need to make 
any changes. I'm fine. They are the problem. Like, I mean, you know, can't you see that? I mean, I, I certainly see that that's the way that you see the situation at the moment, that you see it as you know, something where it's the other staff that are the problem yeah. rather than something that you're doing in your behaviour. Yeah, mm. yeah, good point. Right. So we done? Well, I suppose what I'm, what I'm suggesting to you is that even if it is, there is problems with the other staff, that their behaviour is a little bit beyond what we can do here. And But that, as I said before, there is a bit of a chance that maybe this might be an opportunity for you to consider whether there are some ways that you might want to change your behaviour, or at least consider that. You may be right, but then you, again... You really are starting to imply that this is my fault, aren't you? Is that where you're going with this? No, no, that's certainly not what I'm trying to say. What, well, what exactly are you saying then? Well, I'm, I suppose what I'm trying to say is that in any conflict in the workplace, you know, there's two agents in that conflict, and that one of them's outside our the control. The two to tango story, isn't it? I suppose that a conflict exists between two people and that we have to recognise that the one person in that conflict that you have some control over is yourself and that, as I said, this may be a time that you can consider making some changes. Oh look, I am just absolutely sick of this nonsense and I think you are just basically pandering to their stuff and I don't want to keep on doing this nonsense. I mean, okay. obviously, what's your problem? I can see that you're, you're getting quite angry. I'm furious. In this what do you mean, yeah. quite angry? I'm furious with this. Right. Yeah. And and I suppose when when you are so angry like this, it, it does make it difficult for us to talk about this in a kind of reasonable, calm kind of manner. I'm, I'm wondering whether it might be useful for us to take a break for a couple of minutes and then come back in and start talking about what we might be able to do, given that you have come along here today what we might be able to do to help, I suppose, resolve some of this conflict in the workplace. What do you mean, take a break? Well, can we just maybe stop for two or three minutes? If you'd like to go outside, grab a glass of water, or we can get you a glass of water, and then come back in here in two or three minutes, once both of our kind of arousal levels have calmed down a little bit, and we'll try and approach this again with a bit of a fresh perspective. Mm, okay. Mm. 